Hey there, how you doing? Welcome back. I'm going to do a quick uh, overview of tips and tricks and kind of review on this uh, Aglifab Leafy Sucker Rubber. I've never taken off the fancy display sticker uh, of the Moen Vac that uh, came when I bought this guy about eight years ago. We're going to start up front here with the motor. One thing I like about this guy for storage is you've got the fuel shut off. You can run your carbon fuel system dry on fuel so you don't have any weirdness sitting in there in your storage on the off season. One thing I recommend. So this guy takes 20 ounces of oil when I do the oil change and because I forget everything uh, it's nice to notate right there on the motor. Uh, what we've got here is the it's a Briggs & Stratton 900 series, 205 cc's. Your choke is right here, uh, throttle is here, obviously pull cord shut off uh, air cleaner in here. I don't replace that as often as I should, but I do blow it out with compressed air even though you're really not supposed to. Uh, one thing I recommend, this is a quarter inch pipe nipple and a cap uh, that way when you're changing the oil instead of having it ooze all down there uh, you've got this little extension and my pan sits there uh, it's very very helpful inch and a half ish you've got this uh, hanger for your hose and uh, but this needs to go someplace. So I added uh, a couple three-eighths eyelets. I got the and over there, added that little hook. Got these guys at my local runnings. They're any sort of sponsor. I just don't like going there. So you, you hook it in there like that. See over there. And it's a nice storage spot for that. Like I said, I've got the, uh, this is the five inch accessory hose. Let's do a quick walk over here. This thing has, obviously you saw it's got a nozzle on the end and this handy handle. So to make this thing easier to move around when I'm using this, I just drilled a couple of 3 16 holes down there. Uh, got me a bungee that holds on this side. We come back around over here yet again, and you'll see I just added a U-bolt, and there's another bungee. Keep in mind, though, when you're banging around out in the woods like I got, that handle can hook on stuff. If you look here, you can see when you pick up debris that isn't leaves, the, uh, the impeller as a job on its housing here, banging rocks and such into this. I know my neighbor has one of these and he replaced his impeller and housing last year. I might uh, disassemble, maybe I can armor the inside of the house. Another modification that I made is when you're running this thing, it's nice to have a rake handy. So I had these brackets here, this guy, and this guy salvaged from a Craftmatic adjustable bed. So now when I'm doing yard cleanup and I need a rake, I've got a rake handy right here. The way that this guy is kind of designed, and I guess they expect you to use this to empty it, but you can flip this lever forward and tilt the whole works back than to dump it, but when you do that, your chute here from your blower comes out of this little boot thingy, and you will spend a good amount of time uh, using some very harsh language, getting that thing back into place. So I do not use the dump so feature. Instead of using the dump feature, I keep, uh, I call this a silage fork. 
keep this by the pile and just kind of drag everything out. Uh, and it's handy because your little catches on the bottom here with your back cover on always fill up with crap. On the inside, uh, the cam looks pretty tough. I'll give you a, a, a look see here. I coated it with the uh, I believe the brand of this is Easy Slide, but uh, again, got this at the farm store. Uh, it's a graphite coating. It makes the leaves slide out much, much easier. So when you're using the big sucker upper hosey, the candle thingy, it works really good. I really like it. Uh, I've got a video on this thing in particular too. Okay, we'll open up the back here. So, you've got a couple of bungees, and then you've got guys here. So this is the original hose. You can see I, I attempted taping it up uh, last fall from Amazon. I bought a different hose, and it seemed to be working well until I used it after it was below freezing out. I'll insert a little picture here and show you. So yeah, I uh, still got the original, the replacement I uh, tossed. Uh, if you're not going to use it in temperatures below uh, freezing, you're likely just fine. Here's the adapter that goes on the deck. They give you a template to cut this thing. Uh, take your time, read over the instructions. It goes uh, fairly well. Just uh, be patient with it. So it's sort of dark in here, but you can see there's the chute coming in from the blower. Uh, there's the blocks I had it on top behind that screen. That was an adventure getting that up there. Here we are back on the back side on the outside. You can see all the, the damage here. This is in direct line from where the blower comes. I added this piece of plate. Whoop. Hopefully that'll help extend the life and negate some of more damaging happening. You can see the back side of the bolts from the, uh, the hanger storage bracket. So to put our adapter guy right there onto the mower deck, the instructions have you add a little uh, hook extension here. It's a 46 inch deck. These guys, uh, there's Poulons and Craftsmans and Husqvarna's that are all very, very similar to this. So, just got to work it in there. There's a slot that to hook on to there. And there's the little extension. You give that guy a little hook. That side's a little harder to see, but there's a, this is uh, part of the original mower deck. Just a spot to hook there. And it's always pain and took us to work it in there and you hook it like that and away you go with spring cleanup being all done i just stuff all of the uh, accessories back inside overall i really like my uh, mow wooden vac it's very handy saved me a lot of time and effort uh, since I got that accessory hose set up with the handle. Um, and if you've got a bit of property and you got a, a whole lot of oak trees like I do, this is the ticket. Remember, subscribe, like, follow, all the good stuff.